I'm not going to. Does poison not carry over? I I guess not. I guess poison's temporary in this game. I'm gonna buy one just in case. Phoenix Downs! My buddies! And elixirs. Fuck yeah. So Phoenix Downs, since they weren't in the first game, they are your life, pretty much. Uh, what you use them for is reviving people in battle. Let's real quick just check out this. Does this sell the spells as well? No. This is stuff that I can do off-screen. I'll grab those weapons and armor and stuff later, but... I would like to know if there's a magic shop. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we'll buy one of those. Buy one of those, another one of those, we'll buy one of those. There we go. Oh, she can't have a buckler? What? Okay. Well, whatever. I guess he's the only one who can have one of those right now. Uh, but the idea of the left and the right hand thing is you can have two of whatever weapons you want, as long as they're single-handed weapons. So I can have two swords, or a sword and an axe, or whatever, just to basically do more damage. Or you could have a shield to prevent yourself from taking damage kind of thing. That's pretty much what that is. Anyway, off to Finn, <clears throat> which was our original destination. Hopefully we can make it all the way there. Without dying. As we fight more hornets. Yeah, it doesn't look like poison's temporary in this one, which is good. That makes things a lot easier. I also don't know if you can buy spells in this one, or if you have to find them. This might be one where you have to actually find the tombs to learn the spells throughout the game. But I'm pretty sure you can buy them too, so... I'll do my best to find out where that is as soon as possible. But it doesn't look like you can do that right off the bat, so I won't be leveling up fire or cure or whatever. I'll probably have to go through the game a little bit farther to do that. And I don't think we'd be able to handle going to the next area. I could try. If I can, I'll get to the next area before we start grinding and stuff. Like I did in Final Fantasy 1. Final Fantasy 1, I had died quite a few times getting to it, though. Which is fine. It's not like that really hindered the progress of the game that much. And there's an airship! I don't think we actually get one of those in this one. We can use one. It's a lot more developed in this game. They really, they worked on the story quite a bit. And things are already starting to run away. Which is going to make grinding an ass. When things run away, it's really hard to hurt yourself. To gain HP. But obviously the more you level up things like your healing spells, the more you heal, or the more you use them, when they level up, they do more for you, and uh, same with fire, so if you level fire up and it becomes fire 2, it does more damage, that kind of thing. Fearon's endurance increased, which is probably his HP. It's either his HP or his defense. It's his defense, alright. I guess they'll just straight up say you got this much HP. Anyway, let's go to Finn. You don't want to fight these guys. These guys are assholes. These guys hurt a lot. Let's check out the armor. And st oh, it's not allowed. Okay. Sorry. And you're still in fights in this place? What? I don't remember that. It's fine. It's whatever. 
I'm sure we'll find our way there, no problem. I'm pretty sure we have to go to a bar. At the very beginning. We have to go find a bar. That guy's not gonna let us. We have to get to that pub, though. And this is where the magic is. Once this town's free, we can buy magic here. That's good. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's like a white and a black magic. I think there's just like a magic center where you buy stuff. I could be wrong though. As always. Alright, we have to somehow get to the pub. That's all I remember. I don't remember which route we have to take though. It might be like... Can we go slightly below the map? No. Okay, then it's up. It's either up or it's in that castle. It's one or the other. Can't be both. Well, this looks promising. This looks pretty promising. Oh, I don't like this. Enemy strikes first my ass. Obviously, the more you attack, the, the better your hit chances become and stuff. So pretty much your guys develop as the game progresses, and they become more... They become stronger. There's no actual, like, level sense, so it's not level 99 or whatever. It Each, each individual stat levels up on its own, so... It's a lot different. Gus HP increased. By how much? Wow, that was actually pretty good. 15. This game you can also hold a lot more HP though, and enemies do a lot more damage. Master? How come his name's Master? Fuck that. He's my bitch. Doesn't get to be called Master. Hey, you don't come past the counter. Oh shit. Ready for this? I tell you, the Imperial soldiers got no, um, counter free? Counter SC. Okay. Whatsoever. Ask. Well, bros. There's a secret door in this wall inside the room. Is an injured soldier that I've been ta taking care of. He's in your charge now. So, in other words, walk through this wall. And that's why you need to memorize Wild Rose at the very beginning, because if you don't, you're fucked. We got a potion. And another potion. And another potion. Alright. If you intend to sell me to the or to the Emperor, kill me. You're not taking my or you're not taking me alive. We can ask him Wild Rose, why not? I never never would have guessed that you were rebels as well. I am Scott, the Prince of Cassian. You're Prince Scott. We heard you had died in combat. Yes, I am. But my strength is fading. I need you to tell me a message, or you need. I need you to tell my message to my brother, Gordon. Or Gordon, I guess. He has all the er, all the qualities needed to needed in a leader, but he is wow. I can't speak for shit. He has all the qualities needed to be a leader, but he needs to gain confidence in himself. And the king, wow, and to King Finn, tell him that his kingdom's fall was brought by Count um, Borgins Borgins sure betrayal, who now serves the emperor. Empire emperor. I don't know. And to Hilda, my love will be with her always. Don't die, we can give you a potion, man. No, do not tell her that. I am a dying man. She should find another love. 
Your Highness, do you happen to know Leon? He's my brother. Told you, she's, he's fucking dead, man. I am sorry, but I don't know. Thought he was sick. How the hell did he get out of bed? Please take this ring. It should help you in your journey. I told him not to get out of bed. Oh, how tired I am. Please let me rest now. Oh, well. Okay. Dead bodies just disappear. Yep. That's how it works. They bury themselves, apparently. Obtained ring. Alright, now we have to take this back and tell everybody of our great tales in Finn. And if you talk to any of these soldiers, they beat the shit out of you. So don't do it. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but they do hurt quite a bit. If you level up, you can take them down and get their armor and stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to. Because it's pointless anyway, by the end of the game. It's not like they're game-breaking items. They're just really helpful. And the amount of grinding that I'm going to be doing today, after I finish the rest of my tagging and stuff, which by the time this goes up, will all be done. But in the time of me recording this, I'm going to be tagging a lot of videos. But once that's done, I'll probably grind the shit out of this game. And, uh... Record some more of it tomorrow. Along with some Nino Kuni. If your own sword skills improve, just shield skills improve. Bow, axe. Awesome. Which means now Furon is even stronger with the sword and will do more damage. I don't know if they have a hit base thing in this one though. I, I guess they do. She hit twice. There you go. There is a hit counter. So that probably goes up with the individual item skills as well. So the higher the sword gets, the more hits it does kind of thing. And the more damage it deals. And another cool thing, if you go straight up on this part of the map, you're fucked. I remember that pretty well. Because I got curious when I was grinding one time at the very, very start. And I was like, you know what, these enemies are kind of boring. So I wanted to go find new ones, and boy did I. I found some new ones. If you go straight up from where I'm standing right now, you get into like a new kind of look of a map. It kind of looks like that blue stuff, but everywhere. There's a lot of fucked up fights in that. And they really hurt quite a bit. Probably one hit kills right now for me. 